Let's say your ex colleague called after joining a new employer and says, boss, I think I made a mistake. This place sucks. What would be your first reaction? If you're anybody like me, you may end up saying Bola Thana. Or some of us may even get sadistic kicks if they have joined competition. Because now they're repenting and you know, we possibly would have tried them retaining before they left, right? So I want to take you to the day-to-day -day conversations and not today talk about joining competition. We have done enough of that talking already. In our day-to-day -day world, we do a lot of these deja vu conversations, so much so that it, it becomes a norm to tell our colleagues who are seeking our advice, sharing an information or sharing a problem that I told you so. I knew this would happen. And take them to our world from their world. Whenever somebody comes and talks to us, what are they trying to do? They're possibly seeking our input, advice, or maybe just listening. And people like me end up shifting the conversation rather than supporting them. What people popularly call as conversation narcissism. Yes, when somebody talks to us, instead of supporting them with what they are telling us or sharing with us or supporting with them, we shifting that conversation to our world, offering advice unsolicited or telling them how it could have been done, how should have been done, you know, and taking them to the past. Sometimes it could have been that we would have also given them some advice and they wouldn't have taken it. I told you so. I've been there, done that. I knew this would happen. Kind of conversation narcissism that we actually deploy every day instead of listening to people. I don't know how many people I have put off by taking them to my world and telling them, I told you so. I say yoga, right? I even had a boss once who used to tell me that my experience, uh, you know, or my age rather he used to say, is not even equal into his experience. So every time I used to speak to him, I knew that I had to listen to him. And I also learned that now, I end up telling people how much I know and how they should listen to me. Or just like I started the conversation with Bola Thana. Do you think we can avoid this conversation narcissism and support people in their conversation than shifting it to our world? I'm trying. I'm asking you to try to. Thank you for watching.